channel if you're new karibu welcome if you're returning subscriber thank you so much for always making time to come and be with me say hi say hi baby <laughs> so today i want to show you guys how we make biryani biryani is a swahili delicacy it's a swahili dish so we're starting it from scratch yeah i don't personally know how to make it so i'm also learning so let's learn together my auntie zanu is making the biryani we are making beef biryani not chicken biryani you can actually make chicken biryani or beef biryani so we are making beef biryani so come with us guys let's learn together together with mikey he's here because he's disturbing everybody so i decided to put him on my back just to have an easier time yeah so let's learn together guys this is the very first process where you first start by grating popos so this is popo you can see and you get the ones that are still raw the unripe popos and then you grate so we're using this to grate it's what we use to grate coconut also here in africa or kenya but you can use anything to grate the popo and somebody is here enjoying the dirt <laughs> mikey mike Hi, my baby. You enjoy? Hmm? You enjoying the dirt? Hey. Ah, no. <laughs> this is our meat. It has uh, ginger and uh, garlic and biryani masala. So now that's the raw popo that we just grated. We put it on top. Remember, the raw popo also acts as a meat tenderizer. How many popos did you grate? Like four. Four. So the meat is two k one kg. Sorry. Then from poppers, we put tomatoes. I think I saw there were like around six tomatoes. We're using our jiko. I find it so fast. It cooks very fast. Yeah. Then you put mazuamala. So you put two packets, 500 ml each. And then after that, we add in tomato paste. Tomato paste. Uh, this is more, more yeah. tomato paste. Yeah. Here in Kenya, we don't measure ingredients. You just put until the ancestors tell you it's enough, my daughter. <laughs> and some salt. So once that that is done, so you just cover and let it simmer. 10 to 15 minutes, but then you keep checking, keep stirring so it doesn't burn. So this is our second uh, cooking pot. And then we've put some oil here. We're waiting for it to heat up. And then we'll put some onions and fry. Remember, we didn't put oil in the first uh, pot. So this is where the oil comes in now. So that's the onion. We want to fry that now until it's golden brown. And we're here dancing as we're waiting for the onions <laughs> to brown. <laughs> hey, hey, how are you? Mike is also observing hmm? as we're cooking. This is the second round of our onions. We're gonna brown this as well. This is the first round. This is the second round. If you have a bigger pan, you can do them all at once. But since our pan is small, we have to do them in batches. Yeah. So that's the first batch. This is the second one. And then I'll show you where we're going to use them. Wow, look at this. Look, oh, this is what we are working with. We just open just to stir it up. And just stir. So guys, uh, we want to add more spices on this. You can see this is what we use, but we've grounded it already. This is this. So I'll tell you what it's comprised of. I have cumin. You can see I have cloves. I have cardamoms. I have black pepper, if you can see. Yeah. So all that, we've grounded them and mixed them to make this. So this is what it is. Yeah. This is what we are working with right now. Mm -hmm. It's too much steam. <laughs> so remember the onions that we just fried? So you put them in there. You leave some for the rice and then just mix. So the oil that you've used to fry the onions, you also put in, in there. 
so finally that's where the oil comes in so remember we didn't put oil from the beginning but we just finally put in the oil and the oil has the flavors eh? the onion flavors so that's perfect cover and let it simmer for 10 minutes on our third pot i'm boiling water i want to make um, the rice so this is our rice so far so we're gonna put in the oil the one that we used to fry the onions just to give it the onion flavors so we're just putting in food color you can decide to put in some water and mix the food color and just pour or just put the way we are putting you can even still use turmeric so remember the onions that we fried eh, at the beginning so that's what we just put on top it just gives the rice the flavor you know and this the final biryani but i'll show you when i serve and then we still have some extra onions which you can serve with the meal Thank you.